Hello, hello. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Maya, and I hate tomatoes. So what we're doing today, we're gonna be making Alison Roman's citrusy sh cheesecake. Oh, by the way, I have some, uh, since we're doing a citrus cheesecake, I'm wearing yellow. I have, actually this is like green. But I also have, you can see, yellow eyeliner. Also, I'm working with not one, not two, but three cameras today. So we're going really professional. <laughs> I feel like, wow, Maya, so high tech. They're not all great cameras, but we'll make do. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna link the recipe I'm using down below because I'm not gonna really talk through the recipe. Let's go! So I also thought like, why not add in like Maya's favorites of the week, basically. So uh, I'm gonna be telling you about my top three favorite things right now. So number one, obviously none of this is sponsored. I have like 60 subscribers. Nobody's gonna sponsor me. <laughs> but this is my opinions of stuff that I think you should check out. So number one, this book. So sadly, it's only for your Swedish readers out there. But this is Halva Malmö består av killar som dumpat mig av eh, Amanda Rummare. I've gone to like a little more than half. It's so good, I really like this. It's really funny, interesting, very realistic, sadly. <laughs> yeah, check it out, it's great. Number two, so I like, I watch a lot of Netflix and YouTube and stuff like that. And I like to do stuff when I'm watching. So like in the um, video I did for Christmas with the gift guide, I was knitting a lot, really enjoyed that. I just need to like, fiddle with something <laughs> when I'm doing it. So what I'm currently doing is a kind of embroidery and I think it's turning really great so I want to brag a bit. Look, it's so cool. It's a bit, well, if it will focus, like abstract and different, it's embroidery with different like pearls or beads is the correct word, beads. So I'm gonna be filling the whole square and then I'm gonna put it in a frame and hang it on my wall. So yeah. Recommend, recommend, it's really fun and really like peaceful, if that makes sense. And number three is like recommendation for food, I guess. It's two dishes that I've made recently that I really, really like. So number one is celeriac tacos. And you might be like, yeah, that doesn't sound great, but it is, I promise. So what do you do? You're gonna take your celeriac and you're gonna cook it and then you're gonna bread it and then fry it off in some butter. And then I served it with kind of like a salsa meets coleslaw thing, kind of. It was cabbage, red cabbage, some mango, some chilies, some pickled red onions. Uh, I think I did shallotta. Wait, what's that called in English? I don't know, I'll check it up. It's some on the screen. Uh, and I did chili mayo, roasted on it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and hummus in the bottom. Please make this dish. It's delicious. Oh my god. 10 out of 10. The other one I did yesterday. Uh, and I had some uh, gravlax, grav salmon, smoked salmon. That's how you say it. <laughs> I had smoked salmon and I had some gherkins. And then I made Molly Boss's smothered potatoes. Oh, they're so good. It's really crispy, but like soft and fluffy in the inside. Roasted potatoes with uh, like a paprika, lemony, Tabasco mayo. Chuck that there. Then onions on the top. And then I did a salad with spinach and watermelon, some parmesan. Uh, more walnuts. I did a dressing with some honey, apple cider vinegar, oil, garlic, salt and pepper. Super easy. So good. Like I'm kind of mad that I run out of potatoes because I want to make this again. That's all for my tips this week. So step on one, two, three. 
turn on the oven. <laughs> Number one, where do we start? Starting with the crust. So let's get our... Oh, nice. Let's weigh out what we need. But we can't, okay, here's the thing. We can't weigh stuff out because I don't have a pair of scales. I really should get some. So we're gonna be doing some very good estimations, okay? Welcome to my world. One full of this is 400. I have eaten like five of them, maybe six. We're gonna guess. Uh, so let's do a little more than half of this then. I accidentally got the um, full grain ones, so not the normal ones, but what are you gonna do? Could be worse. I don't know if American butter is like this, but Swedish butter has 50 gram markings, so it's quite easy to measure out how much you need. Don't do as I do, do as I say. Okay, so we've got a butter. Okay, let's do this. Let's put this in a uh, plastic bag and just go to town. Like, this is really working good. <laughs> let's put this in the bowl with the sugar. Good. Pinch of salt. Good, and the butter. I feel like some of these bits are still a bit big, so I'm just breaking them down a bit more. Okay, I think this is good, so let's fill our pan. Here we have it. It's gonna go into the oven now. It really like slid in. <laughs> um, let's put the timer on. Okay, so we're gonna have to get out our trusty old KitchenAid. Oh, you're supposed to do in a food processor. I'm not doing that. We're doing whisk attachment then. Oh, yeah. So we have our room temp cream cheese. I mean, is it full fat Greek yogurt? I now realize I bought Turkish yogurt, but It'll probably be fine. Sugar. Sugar, how you get so I feel like this one had a different texture. That's weird. Out a cup. Good. You know what you're saying? I'm not measuring things very precise. But I feel like it'll be okay. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna whisk this up until it's smooth and then we're going to get our eggs, lemon and salt. Wait. Oh, it smells good. If I can get it out. Okay, put the pie. I don't have anywhere to put it. Ow. Ow. Whew. These lemons, like, it was so easy to assess them. It, it's, it, 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 these have like a thicker skin. Like, I have a completely naked lemon. Sorry, but trying to keep this PG. <laughs> Like one person laughs at my jokes more than me. Actually, I don't care. I think I'm funny. <laughs> oh, I smell the um, shell and it smells so good. Oh. I don't think I've ever had a baked cheesecake. I've only had the like chilled ones. So I don't know if I like this, but in Sweden we have something called ostkaka which means cheesecake. <laughs> uh, and it's a baked cheesecake situation too. 
uh, that you serve with like, is it with saft? With like warm juice, basically, but a bit sweeter and a bit thicker. This feels like a fever dream. <laughs> Test in and then dump the eggs in. Let's whisk it up. I mean, I like that you can see like little specks of lemon in it. This is like the mesmerizing part, isn't it? When you're like, Ooh. and it like completely doesn't matter. Like, that's nice. I can show you a bit. Ow, that is hot. Why would I do that? Let's try not to burn ourselves. So let's check on this in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been a few hours. The pie has cooled down, it's in the fridge now. Uh, so we're gonna cut up some lemons to decorate and cover the mistake I made. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna taste test it. So I think, oh, let's do that one. Lemon, my cute little cat cutting board. Okay, let's get this cheesecake out of the fridge. Yeah, so as I showed you before, it's kind of like weird on the top because I put plastic wrap on it and kind of ruined it. But okay, let's just... I think we're going to cover the whole thing. I think that would be prettiest. little cheesecake it wasn't the most pretty slice Oops. but it will do I think it's cute okay so let's try it right I actually don't want a piece of lemon right now but okay put them up mmm oh wow that's good like that's dangerously good why have I never tried to bake cheesecake before? That's amazing. Do you know what? This was probably how the cheesecake was in that episode of Friends when Rachel and Chan ate cheesecake. It's probably this. This is amazing. Worth it. the, because like waiting for it to cool down is annoying, but worth it. 10 out of 10. That's brilliant. I'm really happy. <laughs> Okay, so let's wrap this up. Thank you for today. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. More food videos. I do a lot of that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, have a nice day. I hope you have a really nice day. Try this recipe out. It was great. The link is down below. And yeah. Bye.